So in this problem, we're told to compute delta y and dy for the given values of x. dx is equal to delta x. Round your answers to three decimal places. Note that y equals 3x minus x squared. x equals 3. Delta x equals minus 0.5. We're trying to find delta y and dy. So I always start off by finding dy. So what you want to do is just rewrite your function. So we have y equals 3x minus x squared. Then we're going to differentiate uh, our function, right? So with respect to x, so dy is going to become dy dx. Then this side is going to become the derivative of 3x minus x squared. So the derivative of 3x is just 3. The derivative of minus x squared is minus 2x. So it's going to become 3 minus 2x. Then in order to get dy by itself, right, because that's what we're solving for, we want to multiply both sides by dx. So it's going to become 3, or dy equals 3 minus 2x. Then that whole thing multiplied by dx. So now that we got it like that, they tell us what x in dx is, is, is. So we just want to plug in the values. So dy equals 3 minus 2 times x, which is 3. So dx, they tell us that uh, dx is equal to delta x. So we're just going to use uh, delta x to be dx. So this whole thing multiplied by 0 0.05. So dy equals uh, 3 minus 2 times 3, which is 6. So 3 minus 6 is the same thing as minus 3. And multiplied by basically minus 1 half. So uh, this is just going to become 1 half of 3, which is 1.5. So dy is going to be equal to 1.5. So now let's find delta y. So in order to find delta y, you're going to use this formula. So delta y equals f of x plus delta x. Then you're going to subtract f of x. If you go ahead and solve this, f of x um, plus delta x. So x is 3. And then... Delta x is minus 0.5. So this is just going to become 2.5, right? Become f of 2.5 minus f of x, which is 3. So let's go ahead and find uh, f of 2.5 first. So it's going to become well, y equals 3 times 2.5 uh, minus 2.5 squared. So plug this in your calculator. 3 times 2.5 is 7.5, and we minus 2.5 squared, which is 1.25, and we got a minus f of 3, right? So uh, if we plug in 3 into this, 3 times 3 minus 3 squared, it's just going to become 9 minus 9, which is 0. So it's just minus 0, which doesn't do anything, so it's just 1.25. So delta y is going to be equal to 1.25. So yeah, that's how you solve this problem.